graffiti was already happening since the 1940s in my community. Race riots from the 1940s from downtown between the Latinos and the sailors. When that happened, the community started separating and protecting themselves. And in my neighborhood, it's avenues. So I went out there and that's when I started tagging. I didn't want to just do my name, so I decided to invent, design a skull. I put a fedora hat and a fur collar on the skull and crossing its fingers like good luck. My very first one was 1969 and the Pasadena Freeway. In 1970, I drove to East LA and then I saw this amazing neighborhood. Then I started seeing graffiti on the walls. And I go, oh my God, this is fucking amazing. One day, I was walking in Pasadena. I knew some girls there, and the girl said, I have a friend that you need to meet, and his name is Chaz Bohorquez. My name is Chaz Bohorquez. I'm from Los Angeles. I was born in 1949. I am the most continuous, oldest, longest writing graffiti writer in the world. I've put in 50 years of writing. Our style was only to do it in our own neighborhoods. That's the style of our graffiti, and that's where I use my skull. To me, it was design, you know what I mean? Even the words they were writing, it was design, part of the design. New York style, their graffiti is about just tagging their name. They write their names in script and colors. We only go in our neighborhood. We only write in capital letters, only in black. This is who we are. We live in this neighborhood. We control all of this area, and you're not allowed in here because this belongs to us. Chez was amazing because he was an artist. I can tell that he wanted to do something with his art. Not just, it doesn't mean graffiti, you know, it was a creative graffiti. Guzman was a third eye. He's a talented man who came from Italy. Nobody took graffiti that seriously, especially making beautiful art out of it. He created these photographs so you could see the beauty of graffiti. So we all had this love, this passion for what for the culture. I say, I want to do a book. One evening, Guzman asked me to come out to his studio and he said he had something to show me. He had these uh, pages um, yet to be bound pages of this book that he had put together of his photographs. It was a book about Chicano Latino graffiti, our graffiti. And I've never seen anybody do that or want to do that because I've always been told that graffiti was not art. And then here's a man who's actually made a book. He didn't ask me he was going to do a book. He showed me the finished book. I was knocked out. I thought it was the most beautiful book. Part of me, I'm attracted to this world because it's not a, you know, it's not for everybody. And to me, be able to enter into this world, it's always mean something special. He had a lot of nerve and guts to try to make a book about this. People didn't believe in it. Once I got a copy of the book, I tried to take it over to Romans and pass it in a bookstore. And they asked me to leave. They said they would never show graffiti book in their bookstore. I always felt that they didn't get it, that they didn't understand it. Maybe sooner or later they would. And we not only had the best book, but it was the very first book. I never saw a book about graffiti. The book was sold out eventually. It went from $100 to $700 to $2,000. We're an original. We started this stuff. Graffiti Back East was invented by two guys. It was cornbread in 1967, but within a year or two, he quit. He actually retired. Now, Taki went 83. He started in 1969 also, but he never considered himself a graffiti writer. He was a tagger and he only did that for one year. I started in 1969, but I didn't stop.
nobody in LA could have done the book the way he was doing it. Because nobody had the motivation or the drive to put it together. That's what makes the book still relevant. That book has not lost one bit of integrity. Street writer is important now because it's part of the art world. You know what I mean? It's not just gangs, graffiti. This new book is going to be larger. It's going to be very, very unique and very beautiful, which is going to be an historical book. Robin in the back, sun